share with you, do never take it personal. I know typically office staffs can get very annoyed because what happens as a salesperson, we go out, we see one of our accounts, they give us two referrals and the, they want to know immediately, can you open them tomorrow? Do you have an occupational therapist available? Can you do speech therapy? Is the aid available for 12 hours? All of those wonderful questions that they want us to answer on the spot. And so I always say to reps, do yourself a favor. And whenever you're pressured to come up with an immediate answer, always tell them, you know, I just don't know right now, but I promise you that within the next two hours, I will come back to you with an answer. I know two hours seems like an eternity, but if I can get that answer for you sooner, I promise you I will. And I always say, ask for more time than you probably need, because then you can wow them that if you can come back to them in five minutes and say, guess what? I got this all taken care of. Yes, we can serve your patient. Then you are giving them good news and you've been very exponential with the time of giving it back to them. If you can't fill a case and you think that the probability is a no, like if you know because just an hour ago you had a 12 hour case referred and they said they have nobody available, then you probably want to disclose that immediate. You wanna make sure that you say, you know what? I know from earlier today, I had another case that was a 12 hour referral and we were not able to serve it. So let me just find out how long is this patient willing to wait while we're looking? Um, what if we put this patient, you know, only on a couple hours of service a day while we're looking to find somebody for longer hours? Offer, if, uh, offer some alternatives so that they can maybe potentially think about this case in a different way. You know, when, whenever you come back to a patient and you say to them, we can't do 12 hours right now, but I could probably do two hours in the morning and maybe two in the afternoon, and then I will definitely try to actively find somebody in the meantime they may be willing to wait for you. So don't be afraid to ask for what you want. Um, the other thing is your intake department, you gotta treat them like they are your most important A account. Meaning you've gotta be kind to them. Go out of your way to show them appreciation. And the best routine that you could do with your intake department is set up and have a deep conversation with them explaining the situations that you receive by those discharge planners or by any referral sources, asking for you to report back on how quick you can serve somebody, and then ask intake, how could we set up a process internally that we stick to every day, maybe twice a day? What is the best way to communicate with you? Is it text? Is it email? Is it phone calling you? Um, and don't do what I just had a rep do this week which is they really wanted a response to give to a hospital discharge planner, and they weren't really sure what was the best way to communicate with their intake because they were fairly new. So they made a phone call to them, sent them an email, a text message, and um, I forget, oh, and a, and a um, video chat thing that they did for the, for the intake office to try to be nice about it. But instead, intake took it as, oh my God, are you crazy? Like, why would you just email me, text me, and send me a video message in the same one minute? Well, the sales reps defense, they didn't know what way to communicate with intake, and they just wanted to make sure that one of their methods would work. So in retrospect, when I spoke to the, to the rep, they realized they should have already established that during their orientation process, making sure how should we communicate, what is the best way for me to get quick action answers if I need them, and how do I do it without getting underneath your skin? And just ask, be very transparent, because it is positions, both intake and your salesperson, they are positions that have to communicate frequently. And they need to have, both of them need to have answers, you know, and they need to work together. And once a month, when you're doing your fun sales week, your fun week during the High Performance Sales Academy, you would learned all about doing your sales process and having fun week embedded in the roadmap to referrals. Make sure that you are treating them like they're the A account. Give them a little treat. Give them a little pick me up. Make sure you're celebrating what they've done to help you. So great communication is important, as well as making sure that you're treating them and having some fun with them. So I hope that helps.